All right, kid. Oh boy. Who else we got on the team? Are you uncomfortable, Taylor? <laughs> <laughs> Do I make you uncomfortable? <laughs> You know who I want to go see? I want to go see the fucking cook. Yeah! He was great. Oh, please have more lines. I really hope so. Uh, actually, yeah, elevator. Oh, and it tells you who's on which deck. That's cool. Useful. And what doors we can open. The oh! Restroom. Of course. The women's restroom is on the starboard side of the ship. Don't tell me what to do. It's just too dangerous for them in New Canton. I'm shipping my family back to Earth. You can afford that? Cerberus looks out for their own. They're funding the transport for me. It's the least they can do when we're putting our lives on the line. Mm. Casual. Casual. Don't don't mind the captain just walking around. Just talk about things as you would. <laughs> Whether you're on here. Hey. How can I help you, Commander? I don't suppose the cook has any thoughts on the last mission. Do you have everything you need? If you happen to find any of those supplies mm -hmm. on the list I gave you, it would we be We found the wine, though, right? Or, or the brandy Otherwise, for Shakwas? The brandy in the, sh in, the, in the bar? Yeah. I won't near, take any more of your time. Uh, area? We, do find, we did find... Uh, he was broke as fuck. Did I didn't buy it? I don't think we got it. I thought I bought it. Hold on. I got you. How may I help you, Commander? Because we went around the wars uh, and we spent everything, and then we got there. I and believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the Damn. original. Damn! Luckily, Normandy. we didn't have the to bribe the bouncer. Okay. We got I in. even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy Fair enough, that I yeah. was saving for a special. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement. Oh, you needn't. Okay. It's uh, no thoughts about the mission either. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. That forward one looks like an open gash. It's pretty, yeah, pretty intense. So the AI core. Access to the AI core is restricted. Oh, it doesn't say what I need or who I need. What's this area of the ship? The sick bay. It is equipped to provide short term emergency care. In the event of critical injury, personnel must be transferred to a fully equipped medical facility. Right. Okay, this dude, this dude, Miranda. Commander, what can I do for you? Normandy upgrades from you too. Oh, interesting. Okay. Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. Have you got any ideas for potential upgrades we could make? A few ideas, yeah. Yeah, take a look. So this is just going to be something that... Oh, hers are different. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. oh. <sighs> different armors. I'm wondering if this is implying that the more party members you get, the more Normandy upgrading you can do because they have to be the ones that give you access to this menu. Mm. In which case you can't get a full protection going until you have them all. That makes sense. Yeah. Interesting. I see. And this is all platinum and palladium. No, iridium for the ship, too. Okay. Mineral scanner. Um, does it... Speeds it up? It greatly speeds it up. Not more than a mod, apparently, but... Uh, sorry, made Solaris armor. Yeah. Ship armor as well. Gotcha. Okay. And then the rest is the same. I was going to say, I wonder why they show you all the other upgrades while talking about ship enhancements, but it's probably because, like, they, they're using the same currency and you want to make sure oh, that you spend your currency together. where you want to, you know? 
So whenever you have the time and gotcha. resources, let me know. Interesting. Uh, yeah, we did the what do you do? Can we talk? Do you have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. <laughs> As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. Of course. I mean, we did like one thing. Relax. But we did kill a lot of Batarians. And a couple of fortune. That's bonding. Just posing over the photos, like those fucking hunter photos with the bear and shit. <laughs> the weirdest. <laughs> this is my operation. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Just remember who's in charge. I know exactly who's in charge. I report to him regularly. <gasps> I'm here. We're again. both here oh. because he wants it that way. This is the second the time you've been you shut down. Chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. This Man. is the second time that she shut you down like that. She wasn't talking all that shit, all that good good when we watched the intro where the two of them were in the fucking room talking about me. When I wasn't in the room, you remember the intro? When I wasn't in the room, she was all like, oh man, Shepard's awesome, mm -hmm. fucking sickest, we should, mm -hmm. it's gonna be uh, humanity, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. and then the moment I show up and I'm like, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right, and then, oh, I thought blue would be different. Bruh. Mm. Mm. Miranda. Being in front of the real thing, uh, not impressed. <laughs> Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. Why should I? What did Cerberus do that made you so loyal? Hmm. I suppose you deserve to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. Designer babies? CRISPR? Holy crap. How bad were the terms you and your father parted on? Shots were fired. <laughs> oh, shit. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his investments. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture. And I feel like I have a purpose here. Yeah. I'm not taking it lightly that they have access to Lazarus Project technology. That's a very, very big deal, mind you. Yep. Um. Mm hmm. Who exactly is your father? A businessman, but a very wealthy one. It's ironic. My father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. Talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used by your father, by Cerberus. Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Dang. Oh, shit. Deep. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Spirit and personality were drop-down lists on the baby designer that made me. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know kind of looked like a FromSoft creator. You could just slot the points in and <laughs> see what you wanted to use. Uh, huh. You told me a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. 
How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. Mm -hmm. Who exactly is your father? A businessman, but a very wealthy one. It's ironic, my father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father. All right, I think we got it. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, Commander. Huh. Okay. Hey. See, now, that tech is really close to existing right now. If you heard yeah, about you CRISPR. Can, uh, we're, we're almost... Choose your baby's eyes and its hair color. We're, we are almost at that level. And it's not still like unethical to do so. Well, of course, the ethical questions haven't gone anywhere, but the the point is not that those questions has been answered. The point is that the tech is nearly ready to go. Um, we did check. Yeah. Okay. So once we are in that fucking phase of humanity. Uh, we're gonna have to fucking yeah. We're gonna have to figure some shit out real quick, really, really fast, because um, like, how are we like picking our baby's color's eyes and we're not at cloning yet? Well, so I mean, I've obviously. Got across the board, the forward tanks are buoyant and elevated. Are you talking about the Normandy or Miranda? I'm talking about the one that's covered and protected, not bouncing in the breeze. I don't know. Operative Lawson's uniform is very official. It always makes me stand at attention. <laughs> Such a dog. Scotty and Scotty? Scotty and Scotty. You're all right. Um, I was going to say that, uh, obviously, the conversation starts with um, uh, using it to remove you know, diseases yes. and negative effects that uh -huh. might, you know, otherwise, uh, you know, be bad for the for the baby. Right. And then, slowly but surely, put a little... Yeah, oh, just a little tweak put here. Put a point there. here. Looking. Slide over there. Yeah. Your mm -hmm. And you can already clone your fucking dogs if you're uh, uh, a super Hollywood weirdo. Right? Really? So, um, oh, I didn't know that. Streisand. Oh. <gasps> Her dogs. She has three dogs that are all clones of the dog that she had before, and they're just on the next generation. And it looks—they look identical to the original dog she had. Bro, I didn't know that. We're on that level. It's absolutely there. I did not know that. And that—and it, and it works. <laughs> you know, you can pay for that shit. She liked her dog so much that she made three more of it after it passed away. So that's why I'm like, no, nah, like the baby stuff is. It might actually be already there, but, like, not ethically sorted out, so not publicly... You know what I mean? Like, we might be way closer than we think, but the ethics are why we're not hearing more about it. Because you're absolutely seeing it for dogs. All right. What can we do for you, Commander? Yeah. Oh, need anything. Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. The Kenneth, you're complaining. Mm -hmm. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the command. I love attenuation. Tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected, it's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Omega markets. That's good. Where'd you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. Right, we saw we this. Saw Sovereign first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We left the alliance. Let me. Yeah, I think we did that. Um, just check if there's anything with this. What do you think about Cerberus? 
Actually, we don't know much about the organization other Kept than in the dark. Leads. Yes, we'll I remember that too. Collectors right in their daddy bags. That's enough for me. True. Carry on. Will do, Commander. All right. Black market shopping. No, that that we can do. Uh, port cargo holds. Access to this room is currently restricted. Some of those at room restricted messages did say like you need to have a certain like party member or mm -hmm. something. An engineer, or like this room, for example. You can use the room. Okay, okay. Yeah, who are we spying on? Who are we spying on? Hmm. No bathroom toilets. Hey, Red, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm making sure there isn't one. All right, I like to keep my stuff private. All right, is the one I was carrying. Oh, that was a that was a yes. That was a negative statement. Exactly. I see. Yes. No bathroom toilets. Yeah. yeah. Not no. That was not a question mark. <laughs> like question mark as in is there a bathroom uh, a bathroom camera? Because that would be fucked up. You no, know, and if there there is, then you talk to the people and you remove that shit. Gotcha. Right. Understood. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. Hey, don't touch. That rifle's older than you are. I call it Jesse. That's my lucky charm. More men have been killed with that gun than died in the Skillian Blitz. The day I laid her to rest was the saddest day of my life. I give up every weapon I own for one more mission with that shitty old rifle. Interesting. Wow. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. Is this because you're DLC? I was trying to deal? remember how many Cerberus operatives I've killed. Lost track around 50. <sighs> Guess your elusive man's big on forgiveness. That's a bummer. You can't really have a conversation with him because I'm so sad. He's just a fucking drop in. Get a knife stuck in the right way, and you can pull that plate right off a of Krogan's head. It's the best way to get a Krogan to talk. The threat of it drives him mad. Jesus, that's fucking. Oh, he's seen some shit. That's visceral. He's seen some shit. I took I took the the plate. I took for like kind of like a horn. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, but like I don't know exactly what it is. It's a thing on their head. It's there. I kind of look at it like a, you know, um, yeah, like almost like you know, like a rhino horn is made out of hair. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's yeah. like it's it's yeah, it's yeah. interesting, or like tusks and things like that. Yeah, like or just like a like a bone protrusion. Oh yeah, that's a model of the Varicon, Turian frigate, hell of a ship. I led a mission to bring that thing down from the inside with just five men and whatever guns we could bring. No chance of success, but we did it. Everyone died but me. So I made out like a bandit. My first impossible mission as an independent contractor. There's been many since, but nothing so goddamn sweet as watching that Turian warship crash planet side. Okay, well there's stuff to interact with, but this is a weird conversation. Yeah. Beauty, isn't it? Ride that off the Krogan warlord, Kazak. Used to run the blood pack out of Omega about 17 years ago. Just telling stories. Wasn't even a job. The guy just thought he'd hijack a freighter I was hitchhiking on. Big mistake. I goaded Kazak into one-on-one -on -one combat. Took out his legs, grabbed his gun, and killed every blood pack bastard in the room. That was the most beaten Krogan I've ever seen. Kept a helmet to remind me of that pained expression. Hmm. Gun. And then you? I should let you go. Talk Garbage compactor. I found that old relic in a Marvel vs. Capcom 2 tournament. <laughs> I used my Hyper Viper beam five times in the air. They didn't know what to do. <laughs> 
that I did an unblockable on the incoming motherfucker. <laughs> Bow, and I got him again. <laughs> Out the airlock. All right. That's garbage. Well, nice talking to you. I guess so. So I bet you that other room is for other DLC uh, character too. Jacob Morden. Yep. Commander's cabin. What's playing? What's this? What's the song playing? I don't think they have like titles. Here we go. Oh yeah, gonna check out the style. Uh, yes, true. We had now have access to this. My head is way too far outside the frame. I, I'd like to kind of see it with the helmet Maybe included. If you highlight helmet. Does it zoom out? I, not it, even. It does not. What's going on? <laughs> We're bugged the fuck out, man. We're bugged the fuck out. That's... Well... That's unfortunate. Uh, that, that didn't happen before? No, it certainly didn't. Here. Let me save it and see if this is, like... <laughs> a persistent issue. All right. Sure. Anyway. All right, game. So, uh, there's this suit. Yeah, I'm kind of going to go aesthetics first, upgrades later, to be perfectly honest. Uh, this one looking nice and organic. Oh. Kind of like, yeah, like I said, Giver or like Raiden style. See the muscle fibers? Uh, and then just full on Iron Man. Uh, here, let's see what this can, what styles you can do with this. Wait. Oh, you only get options on that first choice? You can't color? Oh, man. Ah. Uh. That's sad. I thought I'd get all these options for each one, and I was getting very excited. Because, like, shit. Oh, I'm sorry to... Man, sorry. I, I was going to get a little scratch the itch of... Because uh, there's a game called Anthem, where you make like, suit, si like suits like this, and you can customize them aggressively. And I love that shit. And the game fucking flopped, because the rest of it was not worth your goddamn time. But you could fly around in a cool, cyber, in a cool Iron Man suit of your own design. And I really wanted something like that here. Why ah. would you do that? Okay. Why would you give like a customizable one? Just to one look. Just a one. That's a bummer. That ain't right. That's a bummer. Okay. Well. Well, we'll try we'll All try right. these out and see how, how they go. Uh I got. I was really hyped for the uh, the options. Metals. Private terminal. And I guess if I buy my toys, they get set up in here. Somewhere. Oh yeah, where are they? Did I buy any? You bought. Uh, I uh, bought the magazine, blow, right? Oh, I did in fact buy. Um, was oh, it? up there, right yeah. above. Uh, above your private messages in that little window alcove thing. You see them? But can you select it, I guess, is what I'm wondering. No, it just kind of sits there. Boo. Yeah, okay. Can't, like, Can't play, go like zoom in and play with it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Talk to Jacob. Talk to Morden. Talk to Miranda. Talk to Zaid. Well, quote, unquote, talk to Zaid. Not that at all. No messages for you, Commander. Thank you, Kelly. Um, I kind of want to just re-land on Omega. And, well, like, we have we have stuff to do. Yeah. yeah, we've got another party member to pick up, and we've got shit to buy. 
so let's go. And then the dropship, Kirahi, not Kirahi, <laughs> not Kirahi. <sighs> oh boy, <laughs> you good? We don't look all the same. You can't say that. Who said that? <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> oh, okay, uh, and then uh, let's go. Open. And here, Jacob, you get in. Mix it up. Oh my god! Big! <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Oh, we're falling apart! Oh no! This might... What? It's just me! It's just... I'm turning into a giant woman. Not bad. Your body is uh, inflating to match your head. What you trying to say? <laughs> I didn't say anything. I just I said what I said. Uh, incinerate. Uh huh. Um. What is that a like? What is that like a biotic incineration that you're doing, or is it tech based? Sounds like it's a biotic thing. Is it tech based? Because it's not like flame. It's not like fire. Uh, okay. Um, Solarian scientist. Morden's combat skills, weapon damage, health, and overall. And then neural shock is a crippling of an organic enemy with pain. Uh, I'm getting. Um, I got a tip to say that it would be good to bring uh, Zaid to the Archangel mission for extra banter understood so i guess considering that we don't talk to him on the ship maybe if you're interested okay yep judging by the quarantine reports the plague has been completely eradicated shepherd dr solis's assistant has been helping any patients with complications excellent knew he could do it i have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the archangel there's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Okay. Um, and on second thought, this suit looks a little... It's a little too Halo. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Request new squad member, that's easy. Alright. Uh, I guess I can't change outfits here, then. Stuck with it. <laughs> Sorry, I just I can't get used to it. <laughs> so chonky. Uh, all right. It, that like if it's a, if it's affecting this, it makes me think it's gonna affect every time we do like a, you know, map menu screen with a model on it. Uh, all right, so incinerate and scientist. These are gonna increase everything, and then at the end, you can either be a genius or a savant. Tech knowledge, strength of his skills, or weapon damage. Um. And yeah, he's not biotic, so this is tech. Uh, plasma blast burns through anything with a heavy incinerate or incineration blast. Splash zone on a plasma blast increase, allowing you to scorch multiple targets. So, stronger damage to one or sp spread across many. Alright. Well, this seems like a smart place to invest. Uh, cryo requires rank 2 on incinerate, and neural shock requires. Oh, loyalty. Okay. Alright, unlock your cryo. Get on the board. Increase your overall quality. 
and uh, save the point. You've got nothing, and I'm holding on to those two. All right. Yes, read to us. Medija, based on existing. Right. Oh, we've seen that. It's because oh, we reloaded. We reloaded. We good. We good. We good. The journal. Oh. Yes, we need the couplings for Scotty and Scotty. Two shops we've seen so far. Kiosk to see what I have for sale. And thank you. Your problem has been solved. You don't want to help him? <laughs> I already solved this problem. FBA couplings, 416. Extremely affordable. Pristine set. That was fast. There we go. Uh, my, my chair is slipping. Hold on a second. Couch cushion is uh, moving. There we go. Yes. Uh, so yeah, I thought I intimidated the the Alcor into leaving him alone. He's still broke. No, but he's not selling. So what's the, so I have to literally I have to pay. That's that's what's up. If you want to help him. How much do you need to get off Omega? I still need 1,000 credits That's to pay nothing. my way. But I couldn't let you do that. This is my mistake on my pilgrimage. It's my problem. Decisions, decisions. 1,000 credits? What do I get? What, what, do I, what do I get for this? What do I get for this 1,000 credits? You know, you don't have to help him. You can let him work and get the sales, right? What do I get? Couple, couple fucking. A little bit of blue here and there. Ooh, a little bit of blue. Oh, that's good. You like blue? Colors, right? Yeah. I mean, you know me. Huh? Do you like blue? <laughs> I don't know. I was molded by it. A little bit of blue. There you go. A little bit of blue. Thousand credits. Get out of here. I. Thank you. With this, I can finally continue on my pilgrimage. I'm going to buy my ticket right now. Thank you again. Yeah. And now the shop runs itself. <laughs> Just blueing my job. Blueing your job? That's okay. <laughs> Looking at your actions, that could be easily misread. Misinterpreted how? I, I, I don't understand. Uh, we got a visor, we got the Geth ship, we got the chest plate, got the hack module, the black storm, right, right, the extremely affordable black hole gun. Why not? Crazy. I guess that counts as a heavy weapon. Um, chest plate. Reduces the delay before your shield starts regenerating by 10%. Overall improvement. And increases headshot damage by 10%. Uh, doubles the time limit for the hack. That's way too much money for that. Are you insane? Fuck off. Buy my toys. 
<laughs> One more for the shells. Alright. We gotta find some more shops. So, uh, Harrods Emporium, Ken Salvage, and Omega Market have S's in front of them. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna take that as a dollar sign. Yep. It is a dollar sign. You're correct. Simulator conduits. Storm speed by 10%. Uh, right. Oh, another 10%. Another 10% on those shields. Or the blood dragon armor. For. Eh, eh, more than I want to let go of right now, to be perfectly honest. Ah, uh, yeah. And, and this is what? Weapon damage 10. Improved snipers for all your squad. For a 50k. <sighs> Alright. Oh, there you go. Alright, well, we can, we can handle the small things for now. Um, but this is a selection I'm going to make off of my first armor type, right? Not the full outfits. Oh. Or is it an upgrade? That's what I'm. That's what I guess I'm. I'm not a hundred percent sure on. Yeah. This like, cause like it. it seems like I'm putting this on my normal N7 armor and not like getting this benefit if I wear a different suit. Uh. Okay. Some more conduits. Uh, this. This will be an overall upgrade then, though. But it's not. That uh, hopefully. No, these are just also upgrades as well. Alright, so grab some of these, grab this. Alright. So it seems like the overall outfits are not necessarily going to be full-on replacers that are going to be always better, right? Like, it feels like you're going to possibly get a better outfit if you have the right pieces on that first one. Uh, 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 and seven armor. Okay, uh, so there's one, two, three. Let's go see Arya. And then I think we're good. Oh, also, does this guy have anything to say? Nope. Nothing new. This was a hackable door before. Or it at least had a message about that. Yeah, okay. Could be like, you know, Archangel Door. How's it going, Elcor? I'm doing all right. I mean, uh, candidly, I'm doing all right. <laughs> Could you imagine <laughs> the fucking controversy if one of them fucked up and emoted? Dear God, that'd be that'd be so insane. Eliminate everyone. What? <laughs> I heard you got work for me. What do you need? I'm trying to track down our You might have luck going in. They're using a private room for recruiting. I appreciate the help. See if you still feel that way when the mercs realize you're here. One scan and we're straight to business. People are usually more concerned about who I am. Your death was downplayed, but hardly what I call a secret. I had to make sure it was really you. You could have been anyone, anything. Whatever you need will come out on its own. We did that. I'm curious, mm -hmm. but Omega um, doesn't really care about you. So do you have anything new then, Omega? So you must know what's what on Omega. Everything that's worth knowing. I don't usually give it out freely. Information is power. Oh, you're One thinking day, about that bit yourself. at the Take end of the last mission, right? Take a walk in the back alley or buy one of the mercs a drink. I'm Better thinking yet, about that bit. Talk to the entertainers. And also... They give great Her guard course. literally just, just said, Arya's got work for you. Uh huh? Okay. Well, as I was walking up here. Tell me how you got 
set up here. That's as privileged as any. I have many friends and enemies I keep. Hmm, yeah, no new dialogue then. Short answer? Mind your own damn business. Maybe the guard will give you the work. Maybe I'll come back later. Maybe I'll be here. Where is that guard? Arya has a job she needs doing. You up for some work? You're the one that's gonna hand the job out. That depends on what Arya has in mind. Arya's gotten word that some blood like screaming in the club to kill an old acquaintance of hers. A Krogan named Patriarch. She'd like a you bit. to keep that from happening. What's the blood pack's problem with Patriarch? If you've met Patriarch, you know. You can't keep <laughs> yeah, he's great. Shut. Some people don't appreciate his stories, especially when he dips into non-fiction. Non-fiction? <laughs> oh shit. When he's doing that drill rap? <laughs> Telling him where the bodies can be found? Exactly where they're buried? And what gun was used? Ugh! What's Arya's interest in protecting him? Patriarch was one of her deadliest enemies back in the old days. Now she keeps what's left of him around as a trophy. Mm -hmm. As long as he lives, he's a perfect example of what happens when you go up against Arya. Why come to me? Arya's usual muscle not up for the job? Because Arya said so. What other reason do you need? If Arya wants my help, she better tell me why. I'm not doing this for my health. Fine. Whatever gets you to take the job. If it gets out that Arya's protecting Patriarch, well, that can look like a weakness. Mm. And some people might want to exploit that. You're not on her payroll, so you helping Patriarch just seems like a random act of kindness. Okay. I'll look into it. Good. Patriarch's downstairs, likely surrounded by his fans. Get him into hiding until the mercs move on. Come back here when it's done. You'll get your deal. Okay. I'll be back when the job's done. Good luck. You're gonna fucking owe me, is what's up. Service for a service. Patriarch's in danger from the thugs trying to make a name for themselves. Wants to move someplace safe until the threat's gone. Alright. Tell him he's got to hide. And then we got those FBA couplings as well. Yeah. Cool. Larian bartender. I'm very glad you survived. I've been instructed to give you drinks on the house. Rest assured that they will contain no illicit ingredients you haven't asked for. Good. Wonderful. Welcome to Afterlife. How may I serve you? No. I'll just have okay. something to drink. Of course. There we go. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, I hear all the talk, but give me the actual fucking drink. How many can you pound this time? <laughs> Welcome to after Warms you up How real good. You? I'll just have something to drink. Of course. Get the party started. Two for blue. Right through the glass. Woo. Just pouring it all over the visor. It just, it just <laughs> spreads across the visor like nothing. All right. There you go, getting into it. Yeah. So it's updated for him. Yeah, 
Yeah, so. Uh, was it this one or that one? Not this one. Not sure which basement it was. This one. This one. 